Today's tutorial shows the basics of how to insert images in Microsoft Word. We will also look at how to resize images, align images with the text, and add a border. To begin inserting an image, place your cursor where you want to insert the image. It is important to remember that it is an approximate placement. In just a few minutes, we will be looking at how to align to image with the text. Next, select the insert tab in the ribbon. And then select the pictures button in the illustrations group. Now, select the location of the image from the insert picture from menu. This device lets you choose an image stored on your computer or network server. Unlike pictures that use research for image through Bing, Microsoft Search Engine, this option also provides a link to OneDrive. For this tutorial, we will insert an image stored on my laptop. So I'm going to choose this device. Next, locate the image in the insert picture dialog box, followed by the insert button. Your image should now appear in your Word document. As you can see, it's very large, so now we will resize it. To begin resizing an image, first select it to display a border with resizing handles. Next, select one of the resizing handles and then drag the image to a new size. If you want to maintain the image aspect ratio, which is you want which is its shape, be sure to choose a corner handle. If you choose a side handle, the shape will be changed and your image will likely have a stretched or smushed appearance. If you want to rotate the image, select the rotation handle at the top of the border, and then turn the image to the left or right. To add the border, begin by selecting the image, then select the picture format tab. You may notice that this tab only appears when an image is selected. From here, you can add a built-in border or edge effect or manually create a border. To use a built-in border or edge effect, select the drop-down menu arrow in the, in the picture styles, in the picture styles group, and then Select the frame or other edge effect from the menu. Your new border or edge effect should appear immediately. To manually create a border, select picture border in the picture styles group. From here, you can select a color from the drop down menu. Now, reopen the picture border menu and select weight to choose a line thickness. If you want anything other than a solid line, you can reopen the picture border menu again and select dashes to choose a different line style. As always, remember to save your file to save your changes. As you select an object, the layout options appears as well, used to adjust the relationship between the object and the text content. Choose in line to place the object independent from the text. Place in front, behind it, with or without any extra distance if needed. As you add tables, pictures, and impressions, you may need to add formatted descriptions. 
below these. To add captions, go to References, and then to Insert Caption. On Label, choose Figure to describe a picture, an equation table to describe either an equation or a table. Choose the caption to use on top, and then click on OK to type the description. Captions gain an increasing number automatically. As you go on adding captions, you can also use cross-reference to add links to specific elements of your document, such as headings and captions. Inside Word, you can use headers and footers to insert page numbers. Any dates or information on all the exceeding pages and all the future ones you will add inside your document. The headers and the footers are placed within the top and the bottom margins of the page, respectively, where the left ruler shows its dark sides. For example, to type inside a footer, just double click at the very bottom side of the page. At this point, the header and footer tools tag opens. With all the options to add increasing page numbers, dates, or any document information. To apply, just double click outside. The content color may be lighter in this re region, but this is printed and exported with its original color in the end. In case you add page numbers by using page number in the top left corner, these will increase page after page automatically.